I want to say thanks for coming. Um, the game is great, and you know, to me, it's a secondary thing. The most important thing for me today is uh, the players and athletes in action, and uh, what AI has meant to me in my life. And you guys have gone on the road five days to uh, make this possible, and they knew what tonight meant to me. But more importantly, uh, an opportunity to come here and talk about my faith, uh, make the total athlete and audience of one uh, an important thing. Um, means the world to me. So I love being great at basketball, and clearly these two are better than me, and I'm fine with that. Uh, but doing this together meant the world. Well, I want to start off by asking, I saw a huge group of, of your fans. They were all wearing the Jake shirts, and I went up to them, and they said you know, they were church friends with you. I was wondering if you could talk about that group a little bit, and how nice was it to have you know people who supported you support the players as well? Yeah, I lived here for seven years before we moved overseas as a family. And uh, those are people that are in my life, some of my best friends. And in coaching, you move a lot. These guys transfer. It's just normal to travel the world. And um, My wife and I moved a bunch, but I would say the place we stayed the longest was when we were young in our marriage. And there's a bunch of people that took care of us at that time in our life. And uh, they supported us when we were in ministry with Athletes in Action. Uh, and when we lost our job overseas and had to come back because of my son's autism, those were the people that made it possible to have a year off and a year away to take care of him. So um, they mean the world to me. Uh, I didn't know they were going to do that with a T-shirt. It's, that guy's ugly, so they should probably put on another T-shirt. But besides that, uh, their relationship means the world to me. Going to the game a little bit, you guys fell behind there at, at, as they hit three straight three-pointers, and then you went on a 35-10 run to close the break. What was – close the half – what was, was there any message after they hit those three three-pointers and any possible defensive changes or did things just start to click? No, no defensive changes, maybe a timeout and some yelling, uh, a little accountability, a reminder of what the scout is. And then once they made the adjustment, uh, I think our length and athleticism took over. Uh, we have a chance to be a good defensive team. I don't know that we're totally there yet, but you could see probably 20 minutes tonight it looked like it should. And we've just got to keep climbing until we get it to 30 to 35 minutes of the game. Um, but I think at some point it was 13 to 16 stops in a row. And uh, the way they responded to confrontation as a group made me really proud of them. So I was thankful for that. 40 points off the bench in game one. What is it like to have that depth showing already right off the bat? Yeah, I think we want to lead our league in uh, bench scoring. That's been a goal for us in a while. We want to play a bunch of people. Uh, Nico and Trey were hurt during the last exhibition. I know maybe the score went on Twitter, but our story didn't go on Twitter. We actually went through a lot over the last four days. And uh, having him back is fantastic. You can see the difference maker that he is. But... Uh, the way he moved the ball tonight, the way he shared, and then they couldn't keep him out of the paint. At a certain point, they had to collapse. And we shot more threes tonight than we have in the last two exhibitions. So uh, I was thankful for the bench. Trey, uh, KG, a bunch of people played a role, but Nico really led us tonight. Nico, for you personally, 19 points tonight. What is it like to make that type of an impact in your first game at, at, as an owl? And how do you go about trying to keep that momentum going through the next couple games? No, it was you, John. Come from two years when I'm really see the court too much and um, that's definitely you know, you know a lot to do with the conscious staff and my teammates to trust me with that confidence to go out there and do good. And Bob Offer, you didn't miss a shot tonight, you finished with 13 points, also, but you were doing it a variety of ways, you were down low, you were hitting threes. What was working for you tonight and do you feel like this is just the start? Uh, I feel like my focus is just to go out there and try to help the team win. So if that means getting rebounds or making open shots, I'm going to do it. And today I made all of them. It might happen again next game. It might not. But I got open shots thanks to my teammates and, and the good passes they gave me. Any other questions? Coach, what's the, what's, is there anything that stood out that maybe you didn't like in this game that you feel like you need to work on and fix before Coastal Georgia? Uh, the turnover percentage and our offensive rebounding margin. Those will be two things we work on this week. Uh, and then I thought, you know, we came out really excited because of, you know, we haven't played. We've been playing against each other for six months. We were ready to go. And then once we did our job, I think we relaxed. So turnovers, rebounding, and we shouldn't relax. But uh, we're going to celebrate this and uh, spend the night here and then take off on a plane tomorrow. So. The, the worst thing you can do in life is have a gift and not celebrate it. So we'll work on that stuff on Wednesday and Thursday. Last one for me. What was your thoughts overall on the atmosphere? That's this easy game? to the do. The kids it. coming in. Well, kids, he missed some time. The kids coming in, the band. It just seemed like a really nice atmosphere that got put together right in this building. 
Yeah, I mean, that probably is more personal for me because when I worked here, there was no building, there was no fields. Um, where the ministry has come as a whole, for me, it was an international thing, and I think what they've done uh, locally has really grown, and I'm proud of it. And there's a bunch of people that I used to work with that had this goal like 15 or 20 years ago. Maybe, I don't even know how long, but for sure they worked on it over a decade. And uh, to see my friends reach their goal and to be happy, that means a lot to me. Uh, we weren't going to do this game, and, and uh, I flipped the schedule thing to make it work. And to see them and see how excellent this place was today um, is something I'm really thankful for. Any Zoom questions? Hey, guys. Uh, congrats on the win. Uh, this is a question for everybody. Um, how did it feel to finally get that three ball going? Go ahead. I mean, Baba didn't miss one, and Nico was three of four, so they should answer, not me. Go ahead, Baba. I mean, it was good. I mean, we're in the gym a lot these past six months. Everybody's been in the gym every morning, like afternoons, practice. So finally seeing some some results has been great. And obviously you guys were able to utilize the fast break quite a lot, getting a bunch of steals and a, a lot of blocks throughout the game. Uh, what are your thoughts on how you were able to impose yourself defend, on the defensive side of the ball against Indiana State? I think we did a good job for stretches. Like I said a little earlier, I thought it was about 20 to 22 minutes of good defense, but we can keep getting better. And then for us, when we get stops, we don't care who the point guard is. I thought Baba took a step forward today with his nine rebounds. Every time he gets a rebound, he's the point guard. So him pressing the ball forward after that was a, was a great thing. And then I'm not sure you're going to find a better performance uh, from anybody today than Nico as far as running a show and running a team. And Leland, those three, I think, all three played great point guard today. Uh, but at 6'11", to see Baba in the open court like that, we're thankful for that. It's one of the reasons we brought him here. And then just to have Nico back after what he went through the other night, not being able to play, uh, it really shook me. And not just because we didn't have him on the floor, but because I love him. But he was special tonight. Um, so with 11-11 left, is there any chance in the second half, the score got within 22, and then with four minutes um, left, you guys were back up by 40 points. What do you feel like shifted within those six couple of minutes? Okay. Um, I feel just, just, I remember we got a timeout with Coach. We used to call, we used to call it five grind. Uh, we, you know, set up goals for the end of the game to stay mentally sharp and stay locked in. And uh, today, unfortunately, we didn't reach our goal, but, um, you know, make you you make you think that uh that uh there's no no dead dead time. You have to always you know give all your your hundred percent and always do your best. Yeah, great, thank you. And then um coach, so six total players were in double digits tonight. Is this something that we can expect to see going forward with this season? Yeah, we hope so. One, we're capable of it. Two, when we play defense, there's a chance we can get ninety to hundred for sure. And then the third thing I would say is that uh, our group loves each other and they want to share and the truth is is in the first two months I, I hope that we have nine different players at a post game press conference and the only way that happens is if you have more than five guys in double digits consistently so that's going to be a goal of ours and I think it's just wonderful to be with Nico and Baba tonight but I think in the future because of the way we score there'll be other guys but five double dig in double digits would probably be our minimum or as a goal Great, thank you. Um, one more question for me. Last question. Um, okay. Um, so for the home opener against Coastal Georgia on Friday, uh, for the fans who were unable to to see the exhibitions, uh, what is your message to them to uh, go out on for Friday night? Who me? Okay. Oh, uh, I would just say uh, we would appreciate your support if you come come out. We're gonna play as hard as fast and as exciting as we can. Uh, we, yeah, we're here because we heard of a legendary Pack the Ellie. So last year it was voted top 25 home environment, and we hope we walk into that on Friday. So we're looking forward to it. Thank you, guys.